So we do got a PID on Cardinal. Um, he is embed he has embedded himself as a KNG fighter. Um, yeah. Oh, what was that? Oh shit! Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> we made contact with him. Um, tried to talk to him, and he pretty much blew us off. Called us rats, saying, "I'm not telling you shit unless I, you know, know my daughter's safe." So um, that's gonna be the angle that we want to try to play on this guy. He's he's not willing to talk. Um, wasn't able to apprehend him. Uh, didn't have zip ties on me. Or we would have snatched his ass there and yeah, drug him back. That would have been fucking obvious too, because we were in the. If you guys open your maps, so we moved from that video, uh, basically westbound. Went up through these civilian vehicle uh, buildings, and then once we reached, I believe it was this wall right here. We spotted a couple guys um, in one of these, yeah, this tower, uh, two times EI. And then our first guy came walking down wearing all black. And we were thinking, okay, maybe that's our dude. Lost eyes on him. <clears throat> and we had and another then, guy come out here. Yeah, and then as we wanted to move, another guy came down. And our plan was to uh, initially just kind of check out the guys that are walking by himself because, you know, we got the numbers game on them. And at the same time, there's a lot less likelihood of uh, being discovered. As we walked up to him, he just kind of kept walking, didn't want to stand still. Uh, we had patrols in and around the compounds that uh, I'm marking right here with my arrow. Um, yeah, man. They also yeah. had patrols out here coming through the VCP slash yep. fucking bunk or whatever. Wrapped all the way down here. They went back up to the northwest. Yeah, so like Butler said, he was uncooperative. He basically knew exactly who we were. Or well, at least where we're from. Almost immediately. So oh, if, if gotcha, we want to spend it. Yeah, sure. If we want to talk to him, we're going to have to bring him back here and prove to him that his daughter's safe because he's not going to take our word for it. He wasn't necessarily so hostile. forcefully rescue this guy is what you're telling me. Yeah. Okay. We know what he looks like. He didn't seem like hostile towards us. It was more a case of like, get the fuck out before I get caught. That sort of thing. Right? Okay. So I think he's just got his own plans and he doesn't want us to meddle with him. Well, I mean... Are we unable to join send this guy a picture? Executed, I'll join. If it's join ISIS or get executed, I mean, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so... Are we able to take a picture of his daughter? Send him a picture? Yeah. Maybe. Well, we didn't even get that far. Well, here's the problem. We don't really have too many other leads right now, so we kind of have to resolve this situation. But we know the HVT is there, otherwise he wouldn't be there. Where specifically? No, I mean, we know... Out and about? Like you guys said, you talked to him here, right? Yeah, well, we walked with him. He didn't stand still. So as we approached him, he was walking towards the ASR. We just basically followed him and on the move confirmed who he was. And then we went through here, questioned him. Uh, that's what he said about his daughter. And then once we ended up here, we're like, okay, that's when I got on the comms with you, Crow, and told you about, like, hey, we're getting, like, closer and closer to the center of the city, right? Right. We have to take care of our own security, too. So right around here, we just kind of said, okay, fuck it. Let that man walk. He's going to do his, his thing. And as we said that, some dude approached uh, behind us and kept looking at us. So that's when we uh, basically said, let's get the fuck out of here. Because you guys asked for... Um, uh, Fucking salute reports, basically, right? Um, and th those are things that Butler can do from the drone. So, way less risky than us walking through the town uh, with our heads cut off. Definitely not smelling like them. <laughs> Absolutely. So, but uh, what I mean is, like, if this guy is, because the intel on Alcatel is that he takes women and children, right? And so if he, if this man believes that his daughter's been taking for that same reason and he's out there hunting this man down, then you can be rest assured that this dude's going to be there somewhere. Interrogative here. Uh, what's the activity like along those roads? We have uh, 
any potential here for establishing a mobile, you know, mobile scouting plan undercover? Uh, uh, yes, definitely. Um, on the road in, we spotted a few civilians kind of, you know, doing their thing, walking past the road, meeting each other in the buildings and stuff like that. Very light, very minimal. Uh, obviously, you have this VCP. I would definitely say right. that's a no-go and it's a hard cutoff point there. Um, but yeah, we could definitely do something low vis, but you know, it's, it's going to be, it's hard. There's no real road in, right? There's no way to be just like, okay, we're driving into the town to go meet someone. No, uh, everybody that basically lives there, they live there. There's no one just coming in and out anymore. So Roger that. Well, there has to be some sort of infrastructure and trade. So. Yeah. We can commandeer a civilian, like, fucking vendor truck or an ambulance or something. Yeah, what I'm saying is there's no physical road connecting, right? What so, if you came in from up north? From same thing. Here? Oh, yeah, there yeah, really is no road There's no in. physical. So, yeah, there is, right? You can see it when you're out there, but there's not according to all this. So we'd have to either, yeah, drive all the way around through the north the CP, and then maybe somehow, like, I don't know, come through Zapir, which we don't even know what's out there. I There's mean, Stefan's up here. I can see it in the distance. Okay. <clears throat> There's a lot of smoke emanating out of Zapir. I couldn't get a good view of it, though. Okay. So there is stuff in there. To our current intelligence levels here, do we even know if the civilian populace uses vehicles in this area? Yeah. We spotted, we, yeah, we spotted at least one uh, set of. Uh, I think a driver and a dude in the back in a pickup truck. Uh, like basically on this blue one marker, something around there. Um, didn't really see anybody drive around. I think it's mostly quiet because either these guys have strong held it, this whole Mafaraz area. Um, you guys had a camp down there. Uh, how, how, did you guys make it to your OP, by the way? Yeah, we got there. We were there for probably 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so maybe an idea is then to take the same video that we took, which was this one here. Um, oh. Maybe take that one and just go on foot because driving any closer. Well, th these guys in these towers right here, right? So you have this one here. I think this is a tower too. And then there's another tower here somewhere. Um, we could only see if that this one was manned, but I'm just going to go ahead and assume the other ones are as well. Maybe Butler can check his drone uh, for that. But this, they have clean eyes on this entire ASR here. Yeah. Okay, so... The way I'm seeing this is it's going to be a massive logistical and physical nightmare to actually grab this gulab dude. Particularly if he's a lot, if he's aligned with the KNG at this point, that makes like before, if he was just kind of like standalone, it wouldn't be as hard. Now it's hard, like really hard. So what I think we need to do is take a picture of his daughter, like with us to prove that it's us and we have her in U.S. custody, rock custody, right? Actually, we'll let the rock dudes take a picture of her. Need to make uh, sure that we're wearing face covering for that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and then we'll have to send a recce back to go meet with him, give him the picture as proof, right? And then in exchange for Navajo's location, we will give him his daughter back because she doesn't really have any value once we get what we need out of her. What? That sound. That's a really fucked way of putting that but that's more or less the truth right like she is not a player and we do not have the resources to chase down fucking daughters of sidemen yeah right <laughs> is that uh does that work for everyone does anyone have any other ideas no i think grabbing is nice. out of the book no, I think yeah, it's a safer just... option to make a trade. Yeah, definitely. But the quicker you make that, reach out and make that happen, the better. Yes, I'm bleeding out here. 
Medic. Bleeding out. Yeah. You, oh, you, took, you took a round or what? Oh, about two or three. Just being an operator. Why? We could even maybe stage a meeting place that's safe for him if you could somehow contact him to leave town and maybe have a safe meeting place that we can keep under surveillance and we overwatch. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's close your door video. Yeah, and have like him, some camp maybe have him come to us. Don't yeah, but I, don't, I, it's, I mean, this dude's not here for us, right? He don't give a shit about what we say. No, we need, we need, like, just, daughter, but if yeah. we can set up yeah, a meeting but, for we're to, Americans, <laughs> we'll say anything at this he point. He should be good, Al. He just had to make the trade oh, happen. Fuck. I'm back. Make I'm back the trade go. happen Thanks, somewhere in yep. a safe zone. Butler, or what's this? Outside their VCP, rather. Yeah, what's but what is, what is to say that this guy's gonna tell us the truth about where this dude's at, right? Oh shit, my bad. Because if he gets his daughter without us getting what we want, he can just dip with his daughter, and so... we'll be none the wiser. Maybe That's we true. say, here's a picture of your daughter, right? We clearly have her in custody because he, she thought he was dead. And yeah. which would, oh, would no, assume, we thought he was dead. Huh? He, he thought she was dead, yeah. He thought she was dead, okay. Yeah. So there is serious leverage that comes with that, which means we don't have to just give it up on the first barter. We can dangle it a little bit. So we could possibly say like, hey, you give us, inf you continue to feed us information on Navajo. Once we have him, she's all yours. Would right, there be but... any way to get him to get us Nav Navajo? See, I don't <clears throat> think, I think that's pushing an asset a little too much, right? But just asking them to basically share knowledge and that's all they have to do is a lot like easier deal with on your conscience than like actively working against someone that you said you were going to help agreed but, but like you said we need to make sure that we have navajo in custody before we let his daughter go because it'd be too easy for him to lie to us yep. right so we'll have to basically communicate with him i would maybe say like do a dead drop right or somehow make contact with him and arrange for a dead drop put the picture of his daughter there make sure that he gets that information Right, with a fucking meeting place on the map or on the picture, we'll meet him there and discuss the terms of his daughter's, you know, exchange. But the only way that I see this happening is if we get him to willingly hand over the information. We cannot grab him. It's just not feasible, quite frankly. I agree. The risk is too high. So we have and to even turn... if we grab him, right, like he can still lie, right? Right. The other option, right, is we can we can try to sow dissent in the KNG, right, and get them to turn on him to a point where he has no option but to come to us. Yeah, but, I mean, this dude's, he's a veteran fighter, right? Like, this man will not trust us to make a, a good decision, I believe. He'd I mean, rather just say, hey, I still believe they took my daughter. If I know what this guy is, I'll just go in there myself. Okay, so a dead drop of a picture and then an exchange for information. Going with... Yeah, right. I think that's, I think that's, best that's the first, first plan, right? Okay. A uh, question about the AO. Are these holding cells filled with anybody or are they just empty holding cells? <clears throat> There's at least four uh, civilians in there. So civilians not are okay or anything. <clears throat> I know. Actually, there there are people in those holding cells. I couldn't tell if it was ROK or civilians. They could have stripped them of their gear and made, dressed them up, so we can't tell. So India's, I'm gonna need you guys to get that. Um. That contacts package together, so the pictures and the, the compound that you would like him to meet us at, and then we'll have you guys meet him, discuss the terms, and uh, really, I mean, it's pretty simple, right? We'll leave it kind of open ended, but once we get Navajo, you get your daughter. Period. 
right? The more information you give, the faster that will be. Puppy, do we want to push this up tomorrow? Yeah, I think we'll have to do it tomorrow. Uh, we don't really have any other any other fucking threads to grab onto, so. Well. No, we do, actually. Which one? Because the daughter would know where he lives, right? Does he live in Mafaraz? Yeah. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Man, I'm not. Still might be handy information. Would not be happy with my boys going into some Chapman bullshit. Well, so then, basically, what I would say is India is you need to get with her and fucking spark the fucking jumper cables a little bit and get the information we need out of her. Right? And then. Because, quite frankly, if we hand her over once we've got Navajo and she says, oh, I, they were mean to me, whatever. He's already aligned with the KNG, so what's the difference? Mm. You probably push that bidding point out to Morat. Kind of in between. Um, okay, yeah. Gents for my Not two for cents worth. That's yes, a shit ton of that's a shit ton of stuff in there. If it goes south, it's gonna get really ugly really quick. No, and I, we're not going in there. Yeah. Sorry, keep going now. No, no, that 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 that's fine. I was just I'm counting all the stuff in there, and that you know, if we don't know where this guy is, and we're starting we're trying to pop these vehicles at the same time to keep them off your ass, we could just as easily blow this dude up as as find him. Oh, I, we're not going to go in there unless there's a major rock operation that takes place, and then we'll try to grab him in the chaos of it. Okay. Um, but that would just be a nightmare. Trying yeah, to get to and from the building. Yep. Unless it was on an, the exterior road, but or the exterior, but we'll cross that bridge later. Okay. okay. Well, so, change. Oh. Yes. Change. India's get on it. Cool. Anyone have anything else before I split off? Everyone. Uh, no. Cool. Good work tonight, boys. Yeah. India, let's get together and we'll kind of talk about this.